Hey guys, welcome back to 25 Sweet Peas YouTube channel. So I know it's kind of been a while since I posted on here, but I've just been so busy with different Valentine's looks, different collaborations, and everything that you guys have probably been seeing on my blog if you pay attention to that, or you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc. So today is kind of like the first day I'm done with Valentine's nails, and at first I kind of thought I was going to feel lost, just because I had been having so much fun doing Valentine's Day nails, but turns out I actually ended up having a lot of fun doing these. So tonight, as most of you probably know, are the Grammy Awards. So I decided to pick an artist that I really want to win tonight, and then pick a song off that person's and just turn that music video into nails. So, depending on how big a fan of Megan Trainer that you are, you may recognize this layout from one of the outfits she wears in the the Dear Future Husband music video. So I'm hoping she wins New Artist of the Year. I'm a huge fan of hers. And actually, in this same music video, Charlie Puth is in it at the end. Now, he is also another person I really want to win tonight. Those two are two of my favorites, that's for sure. So it'd be great to see them win. So let's get on to today's tutorial. This is called a framed cheetah print. I know I've been filming kind of a lot of cheetah prints lately. I don't even know why I've been into doing cheetah prints so much. I, they are great and easy and fun to do. So when I got to do them tonight for a different style with this framing thing, I really kind of like this look. It's fun, it's different, and it's new to me anyway. I've never done a framed mani like this. It kind of gives you that Rufarian look, but all the way around. So it's just kind of fun. So let's move along. This is a close-up of the base for my cheetah print. This is Taco Lacquer's birthday suit, which is a one-coater. It's like a nude color on. You like Whenever you're wearing it, you don't really notice that it has holo sparkles in it. But whenever you get out into the sunlight, you do see the sparkles. And here you can see the sparkles. So I thought it would be fun to include this picture in the video. There will be another like up-close shot of the bottle in today's blog post, which you'll find linked below. And also, I realize I'm kind of like talking a lot in this video, and I apologize for that. And for my weirdness in the way I talk. I never know what to say when I'm being recorded and I'm just like talking to myself. So, moving on <laughs> to the tutorial. Here I'm using a daughter with brown acrylic paint, and then I'll use a twinkle tea brush and outline with black acrylic paint to get my cheetah print. And here I'm using black acrylic paint and the same twinkle tea brush and going around to make my frame. Now cleaning up, top coat, and that is it. There is a super up close of the art, the cheetah print art frame look thing. See, the one great thing about cheetah print is that it never has to look exactly the same as it did last time. And a little flaw just turns into a different type of print. So I think cheetah print's a good go-to design whenever you want it to turn out well, but you're not necessarily feeling that you can just do any design. Because I know we all have designs, but we just feel like we really want to do nail art, but nothing's turning out. Cheetah print's always a good thing to go to because it doesn't have to be accurate. It can be different spots, and it's okay to have little mess-ups because then they turn into a different, something unique. Because just like with every person, cheetah print is different on every cheetah, just like every person is different. And I'm not sure where I'm going with this. So, here is the final look all together. Yep, all together. The blue I am using is by Color Club by Love Charlotte, which is Charlotte Russe's polish. Their polish is called Love Charlotte XO, and then in fine print, kind of on the bottle, it says it is by Color Club. I don't think most people know that, at least I didn't until like two or three years ago, but I absolutely love this blue, and I really wish it had a name because that is literally one coat of the blue. It is so bright, and it's really just a great cobalt blue to have in the collection. I've been using this probably for about one to two years now and I don't have a single complaint. I really just love it. It is a wonderful blue. And then the red is my favorite red which is Serendipity Polishes Big Red Bow. 
it is one coater, doesn't stain, and it's just got a great formula. And if you've been watching anything I've been doing for the past few weeks, anytime I use red, pretty much I've been using this one because it is great for February because it's a Valentine's month. And it's just great if you love red. And it's great if you don't love red because this red is such an easy one to work with. Which reds can be a pain sometimes. So, make sure to check that out on Serendipity's site. It's actually on sale for $5 right now, I believe. So that is a really, really good deal. I would go snatch that up if I were you. Because you won't be sorry. You will love that coming around Christmas time, 4th of July. Oh, I forgot about 4th of July. That's going to be great to have. And then again, Valentine's Day next year. So, that is all for this video. I feel like I have blabbed on through this whole thing. So, if you're still here listening, thank you. And thank you for watching it. Make sure to let me know what you guys thought of these. What would you guys like to see coming soon to the blog, the YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and so on. I feel like I can never list everything because there's just so many different things. Again, just request what you guys want to see. Let me know. And thank you all for watching. If you want to see more, like and subscribe to my channel. And I think that is it. I will stop talking now. Bye.